What's up guys, Ray Bowles on here. Today we're going to talk about another scientific question, which is why do objects fall at the same rate? You guys probably heard like a lot of explanations from your teachers in middle school, high school, and college. But this, their explanations actually, some of them actually make sense. Maybe you guys know about this already. Maybe you guys don't. Just keep watching and I'm going to, I'm going to surprise you guys with another really weird thing. So a lot of people know 9.8 meter per second squared is the universal con gravity constant acceleration. Yeah, sorry for the choke. And um, you know, a lot of people know the um, equation for Newton's universal gravity of gravity. And a lot of people know that increase of inertia equals increase of gravity and it cancels out. but Guess what? Mass doesn't equal to inertia. Actually, uh, I did a Google search. R squared times mass equals inertia. So radius squared times mass doesn't equals inertia. So mass even even if you increase mass, it doesn't mean you increase the inertia. But it means that, and then it it actually doesn't also doesn't mean you increase the uh, um, gravity. I mean the constant which follows falls but why so if you have a very small r squared that means you are decreasing the uh, inertia that means it doesn't cancel out so let's just say we have earth that has a really big mass and then a lot of people know that our mass doesn't really matter so that's what a lot a lot of your teachers will explain that our mass doesn't matter so we'll fall at the same rate Yes, actually our mass mass matters. According to Newton's third law of motion, a reaction has an equal and opposite reaction. There's actually our mass actually matters. Then again, why? So let's just jump into some really odd, awesome thing. Awesome person who made this. Einstein. Oh, it's not me, of course. So general relativity, we're going to talk about this, general relativity is just, the, I'm giving you a gist of it, you, can, you guys can learn a lot by searching on Google, but anyways, it just, you just pretend like, like a huge trampoline, when you put um, earth on the huge trampoline, since it has a really big mass, that means it will make a curve on the trampoline. And we actually follow the curve, and I think it's called the fabric of Cosma. You guys can search it up or anything. I'm not like I don't. I only learn this for hobby and all this stuff. I don't actually. And uh, never mind. Anyways, so we actually just follow the um, the space and time. The trampoline is actually space and time. So, anyways, thanks for watching. So that's uh, the answer for this question, general relativity. Search it up or anything. Thanks for watching.